Hey, Free Device All here. Today I'm going to do something different and very YouTube. I'm going to do an unboxing of this Hasidic children's toy gift set called Shabazdik, a spiritual and musical experience. I think children's toys are a wonderful sociological resource. They are extremely indicative of a culture and its values. And the Hasidic community in particular, its toys in recent years have absolutely exploded. A lot of the artistic talent is being poured into that direction. And there's been so much to learn from them. And I'm gonna hopefully in unboxing this, show you how I read Hasidic entertainment and what I take away from them and perhaps infect you with my own interest in this interesting uh, genre. So this box has on the back of it, it has the contents of the box. It also has the names of the people involved in the production of this. You can see there are quite a few names and there are several of them are important personalities in Hasidic arts. And we also have on the bottom, the names of companies involved in the production. We have Nigan Music, we have Schnitzler Studios, we have uh, Green Touch, Naftali, Schnitzler. So these are quite a few companies that are involved in the arts, music, kosher technology scene that have been recruited in the making of. So as you can see, it might just be one toy, but this is actually big business and um, there's a lot going on in the business of Hasidic entertainment. So before I open it, I want to tell you what Shabbosdig means. Shabbosdig uh, is the adjective form of the word Shabbos. Shabbos is, of course, the Jewish day of rest. In all of the Haredi community, Shabbos is a day that the rest is specifically observed by abstaining from driving a car, using technology, using gadgets, turning on gadgets, turning on the computer, uh, shopping, cooking, going to school, going to work using a phone, uh, there are a lot of rules around Shabbos, but also Shabbos is a day with a lot of structure that from start to finish is regimented. What you do to bring in the Shabbos, what you do to see out the Shabbos and what you do at every step of the way, how you eat your meals, how you celebrate your meals, in what, what order, who sings, what you sing, everything is not only regimented, but also repeated every single week in the same order. So it really, really seeps into the bones, the feeling of Shabbos. And Shabbos dig is the adjective form of Shabbos. It is when something is in the spirit of Shabbos. So just as something might be sporty, if it would be appropriate for sports, something that is Shabbos dig would be elegant and nice for the weekend. So it might be a Shabbos Diga dress, a Shabbos Diga hat, coat, shoes. This box in its ivory and gold color scheme is very Shabbos Dig. Um, so let's look inside of it. So we have, first of all, this is Azmidus. Azmidus is simply the book of, it's like a prayer book for the Shabbos table, for the dining room table, and it has all of the prayers and the songs that are recited throughout Shabbos, it has listed in it. And um, this is a standard book. They didn't print it. They just designed the cover. Um, every table, would, every Shabbos table would have several of these. And it starts with the prayers of bringing on the Shabbos when a woman lights the candles, whatever she's supposed to do here, the instructions and the prayers. And it has all the way through to, for instance, the songs that are sung on Shabbos throughout the meal. This is Shabbos. So this is just a nice smidus for the Shabbos table. And then we have this, which is an MP3 with music and the lyrics and illustrations in a book for it. Now, what's interesting about this? mp3 is that it is muktzah. You are not allowed to use it on Shabbos. It is one of the things that are on the list of things that are forbidden on Shabbos. So this is not for Shabbos. This is to celebrate the concept of Shabbos, the feel of Shabbos. And something you will find in this set is that it is more about creating an ideal about what Shabbos 
should be about what is imagined as the most romantic version of Shabbos than it is about the celebrating of Shabbos itself. And um, I'm going to look first with you at the lyrics and the illustrations to get a sense of what the creators of this book visualize as that perfect Shabbos spirit. In the introduction, the creators write about a taste of Yiddishkeit, how they aspire to, we ask, we offer up a prayer to God that we should at least have the honor to have a small part in enlightening the youth to the right taste of Yiddishkeit. With taste of Yiddishkeit, they're talking about a kind of pleasurable, positive connotation to these Jewish rituals. And there's a lot of that positivity, that creating an idealized, a perfect utopian concept of the Hasidic way of life that we find in the rendering of, uh, in, of Shabbos in this book. And we can see it in the way Shabbos is visualized in the illustrations, which goes through Shabbos start to finish. So we start with the preparations for Shabbos and the lively, hectic, exciting scene as everyone is buying and preparing for Shabbos. And the Shabbos begins with the lighting of the candle by candles by the woman. And here we see this moment that the entire family is gathering as the Shabbos begins. And notice this image. This family is not for want of anything. They seem to have, they have pretty chandelier, silver, china. It is a lively scene. There's almost something like an American dream in this image, in the way it renders a, uh, family that is not making sacrifices, but rather that is finding comfort and uh, uh, the material comfort and gratification in its customs, in its rituals. When I was a child, Shabbos just was. You just did Shabbos. And I think most of the stories about Shabbos were actually rather austere. They were about uh, sacrifice. They were about what you didn't have. There were a lot of stories of people who had foregone material comforts, for instance, in coming to America in the 1900s and lived in tremendous poverty because it was impossible to find work without desecrating the Shabbos. So the Shabbos was a lot about sacrifice. It was a lot about going the hard way to do the right thing. And I think that story of rigidity and asceticism no longer resonates with the current generation, which is a lot more modern, which is so much more removed from the Holocaust and the narrative of trauma, sacrifice, and of stoicism. And the games I find are looking for a new meaning, a new interpretation of these customs, and they're doing so, for instance, in portraying a very modern ideal of these rituals where there's um, good food on the table, we have the challah, and there is a happy family, um, and there's even a woman uh, who's been strategically placed. She's not been placed in there in a heavy-handed way. She's not been, oh, here, we're also including women. There is simply uh, a need to have this picture complete. Women are part of this moment. Women are part of the Shabbos experience. And she's been included here um, it, while performing the ritual of covering her face. So there is no question of the piety of this moment. And um, she's also not a dowdy woman. She's not this matriarch, nun-looking woman. She has a chin-length wig. She looks kind of stylish, stylish lady. Um, this is this is the ideal, aspiring, perfect family that is pictured here in this moment, and everyone seems so well cared for, nicely dressed, and happy. And we go on to seeing the family go 
The men go off to prayers before the meal can be had. The men go to prayers. And it's interesting that this image is from the perspective of a little girl. And again, I don't feel like this is an attempt to be woke in any which way. It simply is the Shabbos experience <laughs> involves women. A lot of the rituals don't include women. And then in the research, the women are left out as well. But actually, there's always a women's sphere. The women are always happening as well. And oftentimes, the women are much more accidentally included in stuff like this than they are when there is an overt effort to import them into, um, for instance, academia. Um, so we have here, again, the woman is strategically placed, so she doesn't look like she's been crossed out, but they don't have to render her face. And this is the men blessing the wine as they'd return from the meal. There's the Rebbe and um, typical fruit art on the wall and um, the men gathering at the head of the table with, with the father, the head of the household stands at one end where here we have the Shabbos meal itself and the men are singing. As you can see, the woman is just sitting at the other end. I don't think she is singing. This is a male ritual. Um, but here you can see there the boys like this boy is coming. It's coming from his soul, his singing. Um, this moment is one of my favorite. Uh, the family, the parents seem to have been recruited to watch the children perform some kind of play. You know, Shabbos is, can be very boring, very long, especially in the summer as the day takes a really long time. The days are very long and you pass it. You kind of find ways, you have to find ways to fill the boredom. And often it looks like something like this. I think in our modern society, we have been so overstimulated. We're so entertainment is so always at hand. We don't have the need to create these things, but absent all of that entertainment, you naturally have the children coming up with ways to pass the time. This actually reminds me of Little Women, the the book and the and the show where the girls are extremely into their they're putting on their own plays for lack of other entertainment. That's how they pass the time, and that's what's happening in this in this lovely scene. I, I think it's something very charming about the Hasidic community in terms of childhood that the children are forced to have a theater in their minds to be a lot more imaginative than we are in our modern society and especially on Shabbos and it's captured in that uh, image. I suppose this is um, children in a boys program, um, Shabbos, no picture. This is a kiddish on Shabbos where the men are uh, socializing and eating. There would often be an analogous uh, perhaps kiddish for women, it would be entirely inappropriate to show it. But furthermore, when you talk about the customs of Shabbos, oftentimes whatever women are doing isn't included, even if what they are doing is just as set in stone, it just isn't the official ritual and therefore it wouldn't get airtime, it wouldn't get the kind of, that same kind of attention. Um, and finally, this is, I suppose, I'm not quite sure what is happening here. Seems to be the families uh, gathered around and either storytelling, looking at a picture book, but the brown schemed image is a portrayal of a very big folklore trope of the Jew uh, in the Eastern European setting where he would be a tavern keeper. He would often be uh, named, he would be nicknamed Damashka, which would be how he would be called as derivative from Moshe, the Jewish name. And uh, the stories here would often be about his challenges financially, spiritually, uh, with anti-Semitism and poverty and so on. And those are stories that would often be told. Stories of Inderheim, the Shtetl, are a very big part of the storytelling scheme. So, that's our visual. I don't think I've ever seen a kind of visual rendering of this romantic Shabbos before. Uh, the Hasidic community doesn't proselytize. This isn't proselytizing. This is for internal narrative making and it is not doing it in a self-conscious way. It is doing it, I think, much more because that's where the, the zeitgeist is at the moment.
Now I try to wrestle out my MP3 player. Broke a pencil on it. It's out. Okay, this is the MP3 with the music that goes along with that book. It says Shall Mistake. And this is a kosher MP3. It's by Green Touch, a kosher technology company. It is very slim down. They do not want to be accused of any wrongdoing, of infusing the children with anything that's not kosher. So they are very careful. There's no pictures on this. There is minimal. There is the music list, Bluetooth, <laughs> the uh, lyrics, it says words, it's the lyrics, and alarm and settings. That is the whole thing. So the main attraction is the album of music. All of this music, this is what makes this, this is what made this project into such a big production because all of the music here is original music that's been created for this. And usually the, while the songs that are sung in Shabbos are a lot of Hebrew, this has a lot of original Yiddish lyrics. So we'll have something like, um, Ka Echsoif. Of course, it's only men. And maybe it's this kind of out of your kishkas, out of out of your intestines comes the kind of song. That's the the mood of the music here. To, to feel the sweetness of your Shabbos. I search so much. We are, we are always... That's the spirit of all the music here. It is that kind of warm, sing it out of your, out of your depth of your heart songs that um, capture various parts of the Shabbos. There's also a second level in here with instructions on how to use the MP3 player. There's even a QR code. And there's some tchotchkes. There's a keychain with images that we've looked at. And there's cards. Collector's cards are a really big deal. Um, I blog about Hasidic collector's cards every so often. And then we have the cables and the headphones for the MP3. So this is this uh, Shabbos Dick production. I hope you enjoyed this. I found it interesting. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel so I can do more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.